Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cheryl Grabowski and over here, um, I do different things. <laughs> I talk, I eat, I share my opinion, my perspective, and I comment about lots of different things. But lately, I've been eating, okay? So today, oh, before I say that, listen guys, do me a favor and hit the like button Please, please, please leave a comment, okay? And most of all, subscribe to my channel, okay? I would really, really, really appreciate that, okay? And so, like I said before, today, <laughs> what I'm eating is Burger King. So, Burger King is what I'm eating tonight, guys. Earlier today, I thought about doing tacos, and I'm going to do tacos probably tomorrow, but just all of a sudden, I just didn't feel the tacos, even though I my tacos are everything. But I didn't do the tacos. I just was in the mood for Burger King, okay? I have not eaten all day. This is my first meal. I know that's not so healthy. But y'all know I've been going through with, you know, mama in the hospital and all those good things. Um, I started off this morning with some water, and I've also had some sea moss. I, I did have that. And so, yeah, so Burger King. So, here is that world-renowned Whopper, guys. No cheese. I'm not a cheese girl. And this is their um, this is their big fish. And then back here on the back, I have two order of their wonderful fries. Oh, good. All right. So let me get my Heinz tomato ketchup and put that on there. I do have a beverage. And uh, let me show you guys, it's right here. Let me put it back here so y'all can see it real good. It's full of ice. Mm, let me taste. Mm. That's good. Okay. All right, let's get to eating. How y'all doing today? I hope y'all have had a good day. This weather again, guys, this weather. Mm. You know, there was a time when I didn't like Burger King fries, but I love them. Oh, another thing. I got my nails done today, people. Aren't they gorge? Mm hmm. Let me know where you get your nails done at in the comment section below. I got mine done at, in Nightdale, at the, what is the name of that place? Sometimes, sometimes I can call it and sometimes I can't. Mm, mm, mm. I'll think of it in a minute, guys. But anyway, my nail tech, her name is Lily. Actually, I've had three different people there to do my nails, but Lily is, Lily is the best. There's another young lady that did the red nails that I just had. She's really good too. But this this design, like Lily, she on point. Lily is really gifted. She reminds me of a black person. And so um I I, I didn't mean to say that, but her artistry reminds me of urban stuff. Um this base color on this nail is what's on my toes. I got my feet done too. So today was a love on me, self-care day. And I sit down this morning with full intention, whether it's afternoon, about noon, of loving on myself besides the positive affirmations that I got going on. Let me take these glasses off. Now, my son will come through this door while I'm doing a mukbang video. Hey, sweet pea. Yeah, you good. always coming through the door when I'm doing my videos. It, it's just what happens. You're looking good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You, If you go to your room, go ahead and shut the door while I talk. Because it's going to make me you know, feel a little piece of weird. 
Alright. Mm, 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 mm. So, I forgot to offer y'all a bite. What I'm telling Now, I'm going to tell y'all. Y'all know this Whopper is a classic. Y'all know that. I don't care what nobody say. It's just one of them burgers that every now and again you get a just taste for. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Get my nails and feet done was my self-care and loving on... Y'all, I got a new way of saying it now. It's not loving on myself, but the self. And the reason why I say the self is because all these years of me living, I've denied myself, kind of forgotten about myself because I raised four children. And um, I was in a habit of not, I mean, you know, I took care of myself, but not in the way that I'm doing now. I'm so patient with myself. I'm so forgiving of myself. I'm so gentle with myself. And that's why I said the self. I don't know, just the way that I, when I say the self, there's purpose and intention in that. And when I think about it that way, I'll get up and I'll I'll do wonderful things for myself, like positive affirmations and finding some type of way to spoil me, y'all. I'm a spoiler. I spoil people by nature. It's just my instinct. It's what I love to do. Mm-hmm. Woman. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Now that burger is juicy. I'm sorry. I'm gonna get home. Up. Look at my shirt. I'm glad y'all can't see it. Mm-hmm. I spoil people by nature. Mm-hmm. Y'all, that's good. Y'all see that? Look at the ice in there. Right here. Have some. Have some. Have some. So I spoil people by nature. It's just I like to be good to the people that are in my life and that are in my circle. I just, I do. It's natural. But... I wasn't be, being good to myself. But now, oh honey, oh honey, it's a new day, guys, a new time. Let me bite this burger. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now I gotta find some soft paper towels. The thing like, if y'all know any super soft paper towels, leave it in the comment section below. Mm. Oh my lipstick gone. Mm. So <clears throat> I'm taking care of the self. It's so easy to do when you're a parent. To, you know, put your children first and put yourself on the back burner. It's easy to do. I don't know, guys. I'm sorry. 
But now I'm separated and my children are gone. My old, my baby boy, he's, he in and out. But he has his own place, but sometimes he'll come here with me. But basically, I'm here home alone. And guys, that's wonderful. <laughs> that's wonderful. Let me eat a little bit more. Now, I told them people over there at the Burger King to give me extra onion. Because, guys, I love onions. Mm. 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 Y'all, y'all think I'm joking. This is the juiciest Whopper I've ever had in my life. Mm-hmm. Self-care, self-love, the self. Is everything, guys. Because you got to think about it. This is how I think about it. When we come into this world, as far as we know, we get one body. One. And after our parents have raised us, it is our responsibility, it is our right, it is our privilege to take care of the body, the self. Mm -hmm. And when you think of taking care of it, you think, oh, you know, bathing yourself, dressing yourself, you know, eating good food. Excuse me, y'all. Y'all, I'm sorry. Oh, my goodness. And all of that. Taking care of yourself that way. But there's another way to take care of the self. Loving the self. Being patient with the self. Forgiving the self. Being gentle with the self. Silencing your inner critic. Silencing your inner critic. Y'all know what that is. Your inner critic. It's when you have negative thoughts about yourself. And a lot of times we inherit negative thoughts about ourselves from other people. <laughs> Let me take another bite. Mm. Silencing the inner critic, that voice in your head that'll say things to you like, I ain't have no business doing that, or I'm just way too fat, or that was stupid of me. Those kinds of thoughts. And sometimes, we have a habit of thinking like that. And so when you're thinking like that and you accept and you hear over and over again that inner critic of yours, probably in somebody else's voice in your head, could be or not, could be your voice. 
you can silence the critic. Mm -hmm. Because when you hear those negative, because it's negative, right? Those are negative. The critic in you, instead of criticizing yourself, you can be gentle, patient, and loving with yourself and say things like, I could have done done it another way. Or you could say things like, I'm supported by life and life loves me. Those kinds of things. Grabbing those negative thoughts, getting rid of them. First, you got to notice it for the first thing. You got to notice and acknowledge that you have any negative thoughts. Hold on, guys. That's my, I have a, um, a clock, a huge clock. And at the top of the hour, it does that. Let me get some more of this sandwich. Y'all, y'all know how I am. I can't, I'm about to be full. Y'all know how I do. But it's so good. So, positive affirmations, silencing the, silencing the in, inner critic in your mind, noticing that is there, being aware or conscious of the, the critic, silencing the critic. Taking the negative thoughts, throwing it. Oh my God. Y'all these nails. <laughs> I'm sorry. Getting rid of those negative thoughts and replacing them with positive affirmations <laughs> is what's going on in my life today. And you can do the same thing. Thousands of millions of people in our world today are doing these things totally transforming their whole life by silencing, first of all, being aware of the inner critic and telling that inner critic, be quiet and don't say one more word. Those negative thoughts are just habits. Thinking habits. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we can have a habit of thinking negative instead of positive. Not that everything in life is positive. Not that everything in us is positive. Not that everything in me is positive. Not that everything is you is po But that's not even the point. The point is, mm, I just bit my cheek. Mm. If you have a habit of thinking negative, you can stop thinking that way. Therefore, you can stop talking that way. And therefore, you can stop living that way. Because it's all about living. We were put here in this body to experience life. Because you know, y'all know for sure that we existed before we got in the body. That's what I think. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Haven't y'all heard it before? We're spiritual beings having a earthly experience. I know you've heard it before. That's where that saying come from. That's what, that's what I'm saying. We're spiritual beings. Spirit meaning existing without a body. But we're in the body. And we're having a earthly experience. Meaning, hold on y'all, somebody just sent me a message. Meaning that we can
Here's what you do. You click on your Facebook app. Follow me. You click on these, these little bars down here in the, in the right-hand side. Click on these little bars right here. Follow me. Then what you do is, is you scroll. You're going to scroll to settings, okay? You're going to scroll to settings. And then you're going to scroll up. Did y'all hear that? Now listen to me. Now we're going to get back to the silence and the inner critic and being, being sent into this world, into this body, because we're spirit beings having an earth experience. Y'all, I know what I was talking about, but hold on for a minute. Did y'all hear that? Now I done told folks, I done told many and plenty of people. I said, look at him. I can be somewhere. So she's saying that Facebook is following they're tracking every app that you use in your phone when you're not on facebook but i believe that facebook is i do believe that facebook is doing that and she just showed in this video guys where you can go in your phone and cut that setting off excuse me but the re reality